Hey guys, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to be doing another look with my Sigma palette because the other ones went so well and we're kind of trying to see how many looks I can get out of this palette. So I'm really just going to go in. I don't even know what colors I'm going to use. I'm going to try and use ones that haven't been used. That's all I'm going to go by. And then we'll name it at the end. So I am going to start off with some Essence Eye Base. So I'm going to put the eye base on. Oh, I was going to try this Gimme Brow stuff too. So I'm put the Essence Eye Base on and then I'm going to take my sponge and just spread this around. No wrinkles. We're going to try and make this a quick, easy look, too. Um, not as easy as the Charlotte Tilbury one sh shade, I mean one shadow look, because we're just not, because I've done that one. And that one is more of a cream shadow thing. So now I'm going to take this lightest color, which I'm sure I used last time, too, but we're just going to set that base that I just put on real quick. And then we're going to go in with, I'm going to use this Morphe, I wish I could see, maybe I can just see it right there, M505, I can see it, it's backwards but I can see it. And I'm going to go into, it looks like I haven't used this color right here, so I'm going to use that color for my transition color, it may be too dark. but. We'll just go light and see how it goes. Looks good, right? I think it does. Of course, it is far away and can't really see that far away. I'm just going to hope it looks good and fix it if it doesn't. I'll just look over here real quick. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine for transition color. So I'm just going to pull this way up high and then all the way down halfway across. Now I am really dying to use it this red color right here. Oh, that. let's see, that first color is called Humble, that lightest color, and then that transition color I just used is called Toasty, and now I'm going to use Rogue, that red one right there. And I'm going to use my Sigma E45 for this one. Hopefully it's nice and red like it looks instead of pink. Sometimes that happens. And I'm just going to put this in the outer V and pull my eye up with it. And then I'm going to pull it into the crease also, but not up high like I did the transition just enough to peek through like that. Now we're just going to go in with this one maybe? Yes. With this one which is Charmer, the second one here, and it's like a satin. And we're just going to put that across this part of the eye, which is basically three quarters of the way across. And that's it for the shadow. So now we're going to go in. I'm going to do this Gimme Brow stuff. Because I already put 
um, the benefit, what is it called? This pomade, Cabral, that's what it's called. And then number two on my brows, but this is just a, this is number three, which I really would have preferred clear, but it was a little um, hundred point thing, I think, from Sephora, and it's a number three, and I didn't realize that, but it'll be fine, right? So I'm just going to put this, I don't know if you're supposed to be able to use this by itself. I don't really see how you could, because it doesn't really fill it in. very well, but it just sets them nicely. At least I hope so. That's what my Anastasia does. And this is brow gel, so it should do the same thing, right? I think I'm going to do a video on how to fix eyeliner mistakes without starting over. So we'll see how this works too, because this is, I haven't used this yet. Oh, I don't need to put it back in the box. Um, as opposed to my Anastasia, which I've been using, but it's just about out because it was a sample too. So now we're going to go in with our liner, and I think I'm going to use the brown for this one. And we're going to push line. And I'm using the Tattoo Liner by Maybelline, I think. Tattoo Liner, yes, by Maybelline. And I'm going to push line with this. And to push line, you just put your little finger on, the, on your eyelid, right in the center, and you kind of lift and push. Just barely push, but you lift at the same time, and it kind of makes your eyelash turn upside down, turn up around your finger, and you can draw between the lines, as a, I mean, the, between the hairs, as opposed to putting it on the waterline. Because if you put it on the waterline, it's going to transfer to your bottom waterline. So if you want that, then you can just tightline. But if you don't want it to transfer to the bottom, then you need to push line like this and try and stay away from the waterline and just put it between your lashes. I put it between my lashes and above a little bit because it's nice and creamy and then I smudge it up into a line so that I don't have to use a liquid liner. Sometimes I use both, sometimes I don't. Today I think I'm not going to, I'm just going to use this. But we'll see. And then you just, oh, and then I take my flat brush and you just swish it back and forth to spread out that gel liner between your lashes so it covers every little bit of skin. And I try and pull it up at the same time so that I can get a nice liner line. Sometimes I have to go back in and add more. More with the brown than the black. But see how it works? I am going to add a little more on the top. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. So that I can pull it up on this outer corner. I was trying too hard not to get it in the waterline and I didn't get enough above. And then you just take your brush and smudge it. And this sets really well, so you have to be fairly quick before it sets. Because once it sets, it's good to go all day long. And that's how it looks. So now I'm going to, I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of my blush. I saw Scott Barnes do this in Tati's video. I think he used blush. And I'm just going to give it a try. It may ruin the whole look, but, you know, it's 
only makeup, right? So I'm going to take this blush. This is the blush I've got on. And I'm going to take my, I think it was the E45, and just get a little on here. And then I'm just going to put it in the crease and brighten that up even more. To do anything, it's pretty. I think it's pretty. His was a different color though. It was a darker, dustier one. Anyways, I'm going to go off camera, put on some mascara, and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. This is the final look of the day. I don't know what to call it though. What, do you, what would you guys call it? I don't know. Let's see. Rose, dusty rose, dusty rose, smoky eye. It's not really that smoky. How about quick and easy dusty rose shadow look? <laughs> <laughs> about dusty rose shadow look that's a good one we'll call it that okay so this is it this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that little bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video i'm sure you guys all already know that but i have to say it anyways follow me on twitter facebook and instagram i love you guys i appreciate you guys so much thank you for watching my videos and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!